Hello everyone, my name's Karishma and I usually do story time and craft activities at Malsey Library. Thank you so much for joining me online today with Surrey Libraries. I hope you're all having a lovely day. In today's video, we're going to be making paper plate snails together. Now this is a super simple activity, so I hope you all try it out yourself. Today I'm going to be showing you all how to make this lovely snail. So, I really hope you enjoy the video and let's get into it. Here's what you need. You'll need two paper plates, some googly eyes, a black felt tip marker, a glue stick, some PVA glue, some sticky tape, one pipe cleaner, any colour you want, some pom-poms. If you don't have any pom-poms then that's okay, you can just use some tissue paper and scrunch it up really small or you can use some white paper and cut these up really small and then colour it in. You'll need a pair of scissors. If you would like to use paint like I am, then you'll need a paint palette and a paintbrush as well. If you don't have any paint, then that's okay. You can just colour your snail in by using pens, pencils or crayons. If you are using paint, then you'll need some scrap paper or newspaper and make sure you've got an apron on. First of all, we need to make the snail's body. So colour your paper plate in any colour that you want. I've chosen to paint mine yellow. Now we need to make the snail shell. So draw a spiral of PVA glue onto it and stick on your pom-poms. You can use any colour pom-poms that you want and if you don't have pom-poms then don't worry because you can just use tissue paper or any white paper that you've got and then you can colour it in however you like. And then you've got to keep adding these until you've completed the whole spiral. Here we go. Now I'm going to let the pom-poms dry on the paper plate. Okay, so my PVA glue on my spiral has dried. So now get the paper plate that you painted or coloured in and now fold this in half. Just like this. And now grab your pair of scissors and cut two little notches. So about here, we're going to put two notches so that the eyes can get poked in. Now grab your pipe cleaner and fold it in half, just like this. And then grab your pair of scissors and then cut it in half. Now pick up your paper plate and poke each end of the pipe cleaner through the hole that you've just made. So this can get quite tricky, so take your time. Now 
Okay, like this. Now get your glue stick and glue the googly eyes onto the pipe cleaners. So the snail's now got eyes on top of their tentacles. Fabulous! Now we need to glue the snail's shell onto the body. So get your glue stick or PVA glue and put a little bit of glue on the back. And then position where you want the shell to be and then push down. I'm going to put a bit of sticky tape on the back of my snail just to make sure the snail shell sticks onto the body. And now I'm going to give my snail a big smiley face. Oh, doesn't this snail look cute? Did you all have fun making your own one? And that's your lovely snail. And it even rocks. Wow, how cool is this? Just to let you all know, to get it to rock, I've attached some coins under the snail's head because it's a little bit too heavy because of the shell. So if you attach some coins with some sticky tape, then your snail should also be able to rock. Ah, uh, thank you so much for watching this craft video and I hope you all managed to make your own paper plate snail. Make sure you get a grown up to take a picture of it and leave it in the comments below. Have a lovely day and I'll speak to you all very soon. Bye everyone.